Ever wondered how McLaren is closing the gap on Red Bull in the F1 Constructors' Championship? With just 42 points separating the two teams and 10 races left, McLaren is on the rise, and everyone's asking, what's their secret? Could this be the year they finally take down the reigning champions? McLaren's CEO, Zach Brown, has shared that the team's success this season can be credited to their secret weapon, drivers Oscar Piastri and Lando Norris. Brown believes that McLaren currently has the strongest lineup on the grid. This season, McLaren has been exceptional, giving Red Bull a serious challenge in the Constructors' Championship. With just 42 points separating the two teams and 10 races left, the competition is heating up. One advantage McLaren has over Red Bull is that both of their drivers have won a race this season, unlike Red Bull's Sergio Perez, who is yet to secure a victory. Even though Piastri and Norris have been performing well, there have been moments requiring careful management. For instance, in Hungary, Norris initially ignored team orders to let Piastri take the lead in the final laps. It took several firm radio messages from the team before Norris complied, with just three laps remaining. This incident slightly took the spotlight away from Piastri's first ever race win, but Zach Brown still views it as a positive. Brown further focused on the importance of both drivers having won races this season. He told Sky Sports F1, Yeah, 100% that both drivers have won races this year. They always drive for the team. They've been fantastic. He also reflected on a similar situation in 2021, saying, If you go back to 2021 when we finished first and second, I think Lando had a good shot at Daniel, but that situation was, let's keep it where it is, so we're always racing together as a team. Brown concluded by reiterating, I think our drivers are our secret weapon. McLaren aiming high. As McLaren closes in on Red Bull in the constructor's standings, there's a real chance they could overtake the Milton Keynes-based team within a few races after the summer break. However, the situation in the drivers' championship is a bit different. Max Verstappen holds a comfortable 78-point lead over Lando Norris, which means Verstappen could potentially miss three races and still remain at the top, at least tied in points. Despite Verstappen's lead, McLaren's CEO, Zach Brown, is not just focusing on the Constructors' Championship. The team is keeping both the Constructors' and Drivers' titles in sight. Brown explained, they are both priorities because ultimately, to win the Constructors, we need our two drivers to be as high up as possible. In a recent interview, Brown even made it clear that his team treats both Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri as equals, unlike the typical setup in many F1 teams. According to Brown, McLaren doesn't have a single number one driver. Instead, both Norris and Piastri are considered top tier, with equal priority given to each. Despite paddock rumours suggesting that Norris is McLaren's favoured driver due to his longer tenure with the team, Brown quickly shut down these speculations. He emphasised that McLaren operates differently from most other teams, where one driver is usually given priority over the other. The dynamics within McLaren were evident during the Hungarian Grand Prix when the team asked Norris to step back and let Piastri take the lead after a strategy miscalculation. This move demonstrated McLaren's commitment to equal treatment of both drivers, even in critical race moments. Brown told Autosport, Relationships, communication, and the two individuals that we have, I mean, make no mistake about it. They both want to be number ones, and they are both number ones. We just don't have any number twos. He added that both drivers are competitive but respectful of the fact that McLaren runs two number one cars and will continue to do so. He said, but they race for the team. They're the types of individuals I think can race each other hard and be number one in their own mind and respect the fact that we run two number one cars. And we always have and always will, he added. McLaren's approach contrasts with other top teams. For instance, Red Bull has clearly favoured Max Verstappen over Sergio Perez in recent years. Similarly, Mercedes prioritised Lewis Hamilton over Valtteri Bottas between 2017 and 2021. So, clearly Brown has ambitious goals for both Norris and Piastri. He said, I'd like to see both drivers in the top three. We've got second and fourth right now, and the closer we get to the drivers, the closer that'll get us to the constructors. He is clear that McLaren is not settling for second place. 
they're pushing for the top in both championships. So we're going for both because all points count, he said. McLaren's unexpected success. Again, in an interview with BBC Sport, McLaren CEO Zach Brown candidly admitted that the team didn't expect to be in such a strong position so soon. Reflecting on their progress, Brown acknowledged that the rapid gains McLaren has made this season have exceeded expectations. If I were to sit here and say I'm not surprised, that would be disingenuous, Brown said. I felt like we'd continue to close the gap. Did I think we would be here at the summer break, one race away from getting the lead? Brown went on to clarify that while McLaren is close to the top, there's still a long road ahead. That race would have to be the first and second and fastest lap, and do I think it's going to happen like that? No, but if we keep the same trajectory we've been on the last six, seven races, we'll be where we need to be by the end of the year, he explained. What's particularly striking is Brown's acknowledgement that the team's progress has come much faster than anticipated. I thought we might get where we are now by 2025. I didn't think we would be where we are now in 2024, but I'm not complaining he added, expressing his satisfaction with their unexpected success. This season has given McLaren a genuine opportunity to win their first Constructors' Championship since 1998, a year when they triumphed with drivers David Coulthard and Mika Hatkinen. The team has shown remarkable consistency, with at least one McLaren driver finishing on the podium in every race since Lando Norris secured his first win in Miami. On the other hand, Red Bull's efforts to retain the Constructors' title have been hindered, partly due to Sergio Perez's poor form. The Mexican driver is currently 146 points behind his teammate and championship leader, Max Verstappen. While Red Bull has struggled with inconsistency, McLaren's strength lies in having both Norris and Oscar Piastri consistently finishing in the top three, which has given them a significant advantage. Despite their strong position, McLaren CEO Zach Brown remains cautious about claiming the Constructors' title just yet. Perez is expected to bounce back after the summer break, which could pose a challenge to McLaren's ambitions. It's going to be tough. I think it's going to come down to the last race. There's not much between the cars, Brown stated, focusing on the close competition between the teams. He even remarked, it's going to come down to how Sergio Perez performs. If he can perform as he's capable of performing, it's going to be a hard fight. If he continues to perform as he has this year, we have a pretty good chance. Perez hasn't finished on the podium since the Chinese Grand Prix in April, while his teammate Max Verstappen holds a commanding lead in the Drivers' Championship, sitting 78 points ahead of Lando Norris, who is also chasing his own title ambitions. This gap could have been smaller, with Brown acknowledging that both the team and drivers have made critical mistakes. We've all made a variety of errors which to me are learning experiences, Brown admitted. I think maybe because we have gotten where we are quicker than we thought, it shows we still have learning to do. We probably should have finished first and second at Silverstone. Lando is trying to fight for a world championship. He's learning, as are we. So, what do you think of the secret formula of McLaren to challenge Red Bull? Comment below your views and subscribe for more such videos.